Hello friends, in this video we will be seeing how we can install Flutter SDK. So to start with the installation, first we need to open our browser. Then we have to write down Flutter Flutter dot dev in our address bar. Then we have to click on this get started button and now we are seeing the installation for windows later on we will be seeing the installation for mac os linux and chrome os so first now we have to click the windows as we are installing for the windows operating system so after clicking on windows it will show us the system requirement so these are the basic requirement that has to be there on our system in order to create and build Flutter project. So operating system, it has to be minimum Windows 10 or later 60 bit, 64 bit is preferable. Then disk space at least 1.64 GB. Then tools that will require is that Windows PowerShell 5.0 or if we are using a newer, a newer version of an operating system uh, like Windows 10 then it will be pre-installed in our Windows 10 operating system now we are installing for a Windows 11 operating system so it is already available for us and git for Windows 2.x ok so first thing that we need to do is that we have to download this G file Okay, now on the left bottom we can see that the download has been completed. So we will go to that particular location and we'll say extract all over here. Once it, once it is extracted, we will be getting the folder. We have to open this folder and what we need to do is that we have to copy this folder and in C drive, we have to create one new folder and name it as src and after creating the folder the folder flutter that you have copied you have to place it in that folder once the flutter folder is copied what we need to do is that we need to check that whether it consists the bin folder which is very important in it okay once we have gone through the flutter folder what we need to do is that we need to configure our flutter so that we can create and run the flutter project so first thing that we need to do is that we have to go to this bin folder and we have to copy this part Okay, then we have to search for control panel. After opening the control panel, we have to go to this user account. In this user account, again we have to click on this user account. Then we have to set this environment variable. In the environment variable, we have to set the part which is available in user variables so what we need to do that if it is not over here what we need to do is that we have to click on the new one new button and we have to place a path over here and we have to say ok like this and we have to say ok now it is already available over here so there is no need to 
create it what we need to do is that we need to edit so clicking on the path and clicking on this edit button we can edit the environment variables so now we need to add the path that we have copied from a flutter bin location so we have to say new and in new we have to copy this thing and we have to say ok again we have to say ok after that in order to check whether the path is being set what we need to do we have to open a command prompt opening the command prompt we have to say a command flutter okay so as you can see that we are getting these things display means what a flutter path is being set properly so in next video we will be seeing how to install a android studio and how we can create a flutter project using android studio thank you